Oh, that looks cool. I need this in my game. Now I'll just go ahead and add it real quick. Ooh, this is gonna be sweet. Ah! Radial cooldown timers look awesome, and I think I know why. But they are a sack of parts to add to a project. So I spent my time figuring out the best looking and fastest way to add different circular time trackers to a project. If this mechanic interests you, stick around. I have four different styles and a bunch of random tips that'll make your life easier than mine was. Style 1. Cool little outer circle. This is the hardest progress bar to make line up nicely with pixel art. Since you're rotating a curved line, which doesn't actually exist, but instead a pattern of pixels that jut out and don't line up with the circles underneath. But the larger your image, the easier it is to line up. The idea here is to cover the edge of your circle with two thinner half circles. These will start invisible and both become visible as soon as the skill goes on cooldown, which means your skill is 100% away from being usable again. From 100 to 50%, you will be rotating the right side thin half circle underneath the left side one. Once it reaches 50% or less, you will make the right side half circle invisible. Then from 50% down, you'll be rotating the left side. And as you start to do this, you'll see the whole bar is moving visually over the top of the first half again. So we'll need a way to trick the eye into thinking that's disappearing. And I did a simple copy of the image of the skill, cut it in half, and then posted it directly on top. So when you use the layer system, you're going to want to put the full image of the skill on the lowest part. Above that, you'll do the left thin circle half. Above that, you'll do the half image of the skill. And then on the very top, you'll have the right half thin circle. And you can see your image order by pulling up Construct's Z order bar. Style number two. This one is designed the exact same way as the first one, except for the thin bars are now covering the entire side of the skill image. My main flaw with this style, usually you're gonna wanna have the image seeable through a slightly opaque progression bar. But if you reduce the opacity on these while they overlap each other, the opacity amount will double up. Style number three. All right, so this one looks like a lot of work and like it's gonna take up a lot of room, but the good news is you only have to do it once. And then once it's done, you can just paste it over top. It's essentially a HUD that covers your skill image. And then you just call what frame that it has to be on. And since this one doesn't have overlapping pieces, you can set the opacity. Now, if you're worried that it's gonna to be too large, it's over 9,000! I removed this from my project, which also deletes everything that specifically calls it and it changed my file size by 24 kilobytes. It's not that big, and it does everything we want it to do. Style number four. This one is the simplest. It is just a circle, and all we're doing is editing the size of the circle to match the percentage of time we have left until our skill is off cooldown. Just plop this bad boy on top of your skill image, and as long as your skill is on cooldown, every tick, just update the size of the circle. One last thing to hit real quick before we end this video, this will just hide some of the extra circle that hangs off the edge of your skill image and make it look a little neater. Now, instead of laying our skills directly on top of our skill menu or skill background, we'll cut circles into the background itself, and then we can place our skill images and circles underneath the background, and that'll hide any excess circle that hangs off the sides. Alrighty, thank you all for joining. I'll catch you next time.